Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. On today's Sunday gear review, man, you know it is not very often that I say that there is something in the industry that's kind of a game changer, but the Filster Enigma holster chassis system, I think is, is probably the first game changer I've seen in a long time. Whether we're talking about super casual or formal wear, I think this is literally gonna change how people carry guns when they're not kind of tactical hobos. Big Tech's Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self-defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. So, thanks to Big Tech for sponsoring the Sunday Gear Reviews. They do carry Filster stuff. Filster is not a sponsor of Active Self Protection. They're not a part of our holster consortium. That said, mea culpa, I would consider John and Sarah Houtman, who are the owners of Filster, to be good friends and good people they have taught at our national conference. So that way you know all those things. I was skeptical of this when I first saw it, because really what it is, so, so the holster here, uh, Tom Kelly from Dark Star Gear, this is a P30 Orion holster. You guys know if you've been on the channel much, I carry uh, my P30 in an Orion. So we're not talking about the holster itself. That's a whole different story. But this chassis system that it hangs on, what this does is, is it's kind of a belt system, but kind of not. So I think some people have looked at this, and, and I'm not the first to review it. I decided to do a long-term review of it. Um, but what I want to kind of show you is that this guy here, whether you are doing like I'm doing right now, I mean sweatpants and a t-shirt, and I'm wearing a rashy and some spats so that y'all don't have to see me naked later. <clears throat> uh, but uh, whether you're doing that and it's like super casual because it's a pandemic and so you stay home and you just need to run to the grocery store, and I think what a lot of people tend to do when they're doing that is they're like, oh, I'm just going to take a J-frame and throw it in my pocket. Oh, guys, man, the convenience store is probably one of the more dangerous places you're going to be. And so I'd rather have my full-size gun. So whether we're talking about that or the opposite side, you're like, man, I wear formal clothes and I can't have like clips or, or tuck struts or DCC clips or whatever. And even the tuckable holsters I worry about. I think this is a solution that you ought to really think about. Because what it does is it completely removes the, the gun and the holster from your clothing. It, it puts the gun where that the uh, best place is for the gun to sit, and then you just dress around that. Um, so you, you just literally won't see it. And I think it operates a little bit differently. So what I want you to see here, is you see each on each side, you've got six holes, right? So I'm using the number one hole, both left and right, because that works for me. But it's really a customizable system. So you can uh, want to adjust the ride height where the gun sits on your body. You do so with these different spots. Also, uh, the more that you kind of set this out now, so this side for me is the side that my trigger guard is on and the side that the wing of my holster, it'll fit any winged holster, uh, any appendix holster. This is built for appendix carry. And, it, and, and this is a pretty long piece. So I've got it out here. It gives me a little bit of pressure. If you want some more pressure, you move it in and it'll give you kind of a different spot and a different way that it does that. As you move it up and down, it'll do the same. Now the holster connects uh, to your Enigma right here, uh, the same place that your wing connects in. So basically they send you kind of a kit, right? It's got this belt um, that goes around and, and is quite comfortable. They, they've even started making like some modifications for it, a papoose and all that. I haven't found that I needed that. Uh, but of course, if it's divorced from you and it's sitting above kind of your middle line, then when you go to draw the gun, then it's a danger that it might come out. So they've also included this leg leash. So that comes off the holster on the side of uh, the grip and that goes around and has this little clip in it. And from those two spots, then you get to see, okay, do I have enough here in order to uh, maintain it when I try to pull the gun out? I'll show it to you in a minute. Now then, it connects to you by this buckle. So I, the thing I think that is cool about this buckle, it's just a little uh, magnetic release. So it comes off completely like this. When you come to put back on, you know, you wrap it around yourself and snap it in. And it's just magnetically in, but once it's in, it's locked in until you grab this little, uh, you know, a uh, little grabby piece here, a uh, little handle, and then it will come off. But otherwise, the sucker is completely in there and it's not coming off yet. Um, I was worried about a couple things when I first saw this. I gotta be honest with you. I'm gonna show you the things that I was concerned with. Number one, I was concerned with this piece coming off. Number two, I was worried about, because I, I put this holster on without a wedge or any of those things, and I'm like, is it gonna, gonna change the way that my concealment works? And then is this leg leash gonna stand up to anything? Straight up, I took this to Jiu Jitsu. Uh, we rolled no gi and I put a blue gun in it 
and uh, you know, plastic gun replica. And I said, okay guys, if you get the gun out of the holster, um, I count it as a submission. So if the thing falls off me and you grab the gun, it's a submission. Um, if, uh, if you get it off my person and, and it's, you know, the, the holster stays on, but you pull my gun, it's a submission. And I rolled for two hours with it and it handled it beautifully. Handled everything I threw at it, handled the guys trying to rip it off me and those kinds of things and, and did it great. Um, I, I don't anticipate that changing. I was worried that this leg leash would break. Frankly, it didn't and, and, and I'm not easy on it. And so this has become my go-to when I am dressed like this, when I'm like, seriously, you know, I work from home and it's a pandemic and so I'm sitting around in sweats and a t-shirt all day and I go, man, I need to go to the store and I don't want to get dressed and put all the stuff on and, and get my holster on and all that stuff. I just want to go to the stinking store. So I'm going to show you how I do that, right? So, okay, empty gun. I just emptied it just for the sake of this. Um, but of course I wouldn't do that if I was actually going to the store just to show you what's going on. So a slide goes forward and gun goes safely in there. So now I have my regular size gun all set up the way that I would normally and regularly do that. Now, I know you're like, wait a minute, John, uh, you're going to show us your bits. No, I'm not going to show you my bits, but I'm going to show you how I put this on is that the pants go down. I'm wearing spats and a rashy, so I'm not going to show you my wedding bits, right? Um, and off this goes. Bring this guy around, nice and simple. Off she comes. Oh, wait a minute, let me get that. Yeah, I got it tightened up. There you go. So now it sits just like it normally would. It's nice and stable in its position. And then I take here and I take my leg leash, wrap my leg leash around. Do -do -do -do. Put my leg leash on, and now I put pull my pants back up. Ta-da! And now what you see is, again, everything is set where now my, my gun is completely independent of my pants. So I'm wearing a cheapy pair of just, just sweatpants and my gun is right where it belongs. And, and you go, so John, can you draw the gun? Well, the answer is if I'm doing the same things that I've done many times, the gun can come right out and do its thing exactly. Of course, you want to watch reholstering so that you do so safely and carefully like always. But the thing that I notice is I'll wear this and, and I can tighten my sweatpants around or whatever, throw my wallet, my keys, my OC spray, uh, and you can add stuff. You know, there's, there's spots to add, uh, you know, uh, ways to secure like a spare magazine if you want to do that. We'll talk about that later. An OC spray, something like that, a, a, a fixed blade knife and if you want to do all that. But here's what I love. I love the fact that, again, I just look like I'm still a bum. But, but think about it from this perspective, not just me super casual, but what if I was in a suit, right? I don't want to dig my suit out and put it all together and all that stuff. But same thing. Now I can wear my regular dress belt. I can wear my regular dress pants. Of course, you know, you got to adjust size to have a gun on with you, but that's just going to be a thing. But there is no indication outside. And the other thing that I really like is you notice that it sits and it sits nice and flat. So I don't have any printing. It's not, you know, kind of bringing the gun forward or anything like that. It's just a very typical, very regular, and it's still just as fast to get the gun out like I normally would. So I now, when I'm gonna go to jujitsu, I'll get dressed in my, in my no gi. My school will do no gi and then we do gi afterwards. So normally I get dressed in my gi stuff, throw a t-shirt on, and then uh, go off to jujitsu. And I'll throw my Enigma on so that I can carry a gun while I'm on the way there, leave it safely, uh, and lock it in one of the lockers for class, put it back on, and then head home. So again, it's, it's not tight, it's super comfortable. I've worn this on long car trips, wore it up to Vegas, uh, four and a half hour car drive. No problems whatsoever. And again, it's completely divorced from my clothes. So I can simply do my thing. So again, you guys have seen it right now. This leg leash um, is super comfortable. I don't wear it tight. It's not, you can see, I can put a couple fingers in here. It's not meant to be worn tightly or anything like that. It just uh, kind of hangs out there. And then when I go to draw the gun, I can feel just the littlest bit of tension on this as it holds the holster system uh, stationary while I draw the gun. And, and I think that is a very valuable item. Now, who else do I think is going to really uh, take value from this? Well, I think clearly in the age of a pandemic, when you're sitting at home all day, I think this is really valuable um, for anybody, right? It allows you to carry a gun at home in your bum uh, clothes. Now, I know somebody might go, well, John, I don't want to carry a gun at home. Okay, I mean, then don't. But if you do, I think this allows me to carry a full-size gun and do so comfortably. I, I, honestly, I don't even think about it when I'm carrying in here. It's very comfortable. And you don't even have a wedge or anything like that. 
so it protrudes a little less and it uses the chassis system in the front to kind of keep the gun in its right spot rather than a wedge to push out on your belt. So it distributes the weight of the gun a little bit more evenly and I think does so really well. So I really like it for that. I also think uh, one of the big uh, people who will really get a lot out of this is ladies uh, because number one, a lot of women's pants don't have the kind of belt loops that I think that um, would support a full size gun very well or a larger gun. I also think uh, ladies like to wear yoga pants and this is super easy because now again, your gun is divorced from your pants. So we're not worrying about having yoga pants with a full size belt on it or anything like that, that uh, if you want to wear yoga pants, rock your socks off with this. I think people who, for instance, carry in scrubs, you know, you work in an environment, in a medical environment, this is great. Put your scrubs on over it, rock and roll. If uh, your dress code is business casual, and again, you want to have a dressier belt, I think you can do that. You don't have to mess with this anymore. Um, even a tactical hobo like me, I think you like it. I think it's a really cool system, you guys. I think that it's infinitely adjustable. So I have found for me that I like these first two. It's the right spot for me. You saw the gun just evaporated, wasn't there. Now I will say this. Um, you might need to do that differently. You might need to use different, uh, the different chassis attachment spots in order to get the best fit for you. And so you're going to have to spend some time kind of figuring out what the best way to put this on. It takes a little bit of work, but once you do, man, I really think it's super useful. Um, still use my regular holster. And, and so I, you know, I got a second uh, P30 Orion holster so that I have one that's my kind of regular getup and then one that's just lives on my Enigma. Um, but you don't have to, you can just transition to this. Um, I think that, that in any of those situations that you're going to have good success with this chassis system. So, uh, I really think it's a game changer and I would really recommend it. Again, uh, the only thing that I would say about this is that, um, John from Filster has put together some videos on how to put it together. Cause when it shows up, it's like a kit. It's like, here's all the parts you need to build an Enigma. And so you have to watch the videos to figure out, you know, okay, so I'm gonna put this on here and that there, and then I use these spacers for this on this, and here's how the leg leash comes together. And, and it's a little bit of work, right? It took me probably 20 minutes of watching videos and then putting this thing together and threading it correctly and all that stuff to get it put together right. But if you'll go through that work and then go through the work of for you, figuring out where does it go, how does it work, where does it happen, I really think what you'll find is, is this is whether you are uh, a bum and you're living in in bum clothes like I am right now, or you're dressy and you wear a suit. And uh, because again, now I can, I put this on, you know, so I put my underclothes on, put my, my Enigma on, then put my pants and my shirt, tuck my shirt all the way around the outside of this. And my clothing is completely disengaged from my gun and, and from my holstering system. And so I can dress completely formally, completely casually. If you wanted to use this for sure, in that kind of semi-casual, you know, you throw a polo shirt and a pair of slacks on or a pair of jeans, something like that, works great for that too. Um, but those are those situations where I think a belt will do best. Um, and there's other situations where it's harder, and I think this is really good and you should think about it. Uh, and I'd recommend it. Um, now, was I paid for this in any way? Nope, sure wasn't. I will say that uh, Filster, uh, John and Sarah sent me this, okay? So I did not pay for this. But would I pay for this? Yeah, 100%. I really think it's valuable. I think it is durable. I think it's good. And um, it's a product that I can recommend. Uh, of course, am I going to recommend that uh, you buy the things that big tech sells? 100%. Filster Enigma, good stuff. Highly recommended.